on this page. Yes, so it's straight. Natakaan, what's that? Good morning, good morning. Turn on your cameras. Uh, Natakan, you don't have the camera? Yes. Okay, it's all right. Can you see us? Natakan, can you see us? Yes. Okay, good. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, yeah. Good morning. How about the others? You don't have a good morning? Good morning, teacher. Ah, I thought you don't have good in the morning. Turn on your camera, please. Don't be shy to show your face. It's all right. It's all right. Nineteen. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. No, yes. it's just the video only. 
because next week I will give them the word yet. So we will have a review only about the previous chapter that we discussed. And then after that, next week we will have the, like the quiz in a word, word wall, online quiz only. Okay. We have to discuss this again so that everything is clear. Do you understand? Yes or no? How many items do we have to make in the word wall? Yeah. 10, 20? Yeah. Again. Oh, I can make two times now. Yeah, for this one, I can make two times. So, like Tuesday, I have class with them. Thursday, I have class with them again. And then after that, I will go to the next topic, which is in chapter two. Two times a week, yes. Okay, don't worry. I will make it clear with teacher I wish. Okay, change your name into English name, okay? So that I can call your name to have like uh, oral recitation. Okay, example, like I want you to read something. I will call it by your name. What is that? No, wait a minute. Okay. So if you're asking about the page, uh, please prepare your inside out book and open it on page two. Page two only, page two, because we will have to review. Okay, so good morning. My name is Teacher John. Good morning. Good morning. How about the others? Who are the others? Turn on your cameras. I can see uh, 11 students only with cameras. 12 students. 13 students. Don't be shy, show me your face. Okay, so let's start. So chapter one, nutrition and digestion. So what is nutrients? Can you tell me the meaning? Who can read? Who can read the nutrients? Anyone? None? Can you read this? Turn on your mic. Nutrients is what? Anyone? Anyone? Internet connection again. Internet problem. Life nourishment essential for and maintenance of life. Okay, so substance that provides nourishment essential for growth and maintenance of life. So this, uh, the nutrients will help us build our uh, healthy lifestyle. Okay. So what are the, wait, first, you have to watch this.
staying healthy and having lots of energy is important if you want to do the things you enjoy. One of the best ways to achieve this is by eating healthy food. Yum! There are important things that are present. <laughs> Staying one of the best ways to achieve food. Yum! Okay, by the way, do you eat vegetables? Do you eat vegetables? Yes or no? Yes or yes? No or no? Yes. You said yes. Do you eat vegetables? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So tell me if you uh, if you like to eat vegetables. What are the vegetables that you like to eat? Cucumber. Again? Cucumber. Cucumber. What else? Your favorite. Tell me your favorite. Carrot. Carrot. What else? Students only. How about your therapop? Tirapob, Tirapob, can you hear me? Tirapob, can you hear me? Get up, Bob. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So, or what is your favorite vegetable? Vegetable. Tell me. Carrots, cucumber, what else? Who likes cucumber? No more. Okay, you don't eat vegetables. There are important things that are present in so the food that we receive, and they are called nutrients. Nutrients help our body to function properly. Let's look at some of these important nutrients. Fat. Fat are used by our body to keep us warm, protect our organs, and carry vitamins around our body. There are two types of fat. Healthy fat and unhealthy fat. Healthy fats are great for our bodies and can be found in nuts, avocados, olive oil, fish, eggs, and soya beans. Unhealthy fats are not good for us, and eating too much of it can cause serious health problems. These fats can be found in processed foods, pastries, and biscuits. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are a nutrient found in two forms. Sugars, present in fruits, vegetables, beans, and dairy, and starches, present in a major portion of food we eat has carbohydrates. However, it's extra important for kids to include them in their diet to stay alert and active during the day. Protein. It is very important to include foods rich in protein in our diets every day as they are important for the growth and repair of our bodies. Protein-rich foods to include in our diet are lean meats, eggs, fish, tofu, seeds, nuts, and beans. Vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals are essential to keep us healthy.
well as leafy green vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Fiber. Fiber is a substance that helps us with the organs inside our stomach. This means it helps us to remove the waste from our body and stay healthy. Fiber can be found in foods such as brown rice, whole grain bread, cereals, nuts, seeds, fruit, and vegetables. Water. Water is essential for helping your body digest and use the nutrients found in the foods you eat every day. Therefore, it is important to drink lots of water every day to help with this process. It is very important to ensure that your daily diet includes a variety of all these foods. Having a balanced diet makes sure that our bodies receive all the nutrients we need to have energy, stay healthy, and continue growing. However, sometimes we eat foods that are tasty but aren't healthy. Many of these are packaged convenience foods, which are full of unhealthy fats and sugars. We can enjoy eating these foods, but it's important to only eat these types of foods sometimes as a treat, as too much of it will cause us to become unhealthy and sick. So make sure you keep your daily diet full of delicious, brightly coloured fresh foods that provide lots of different nutrients and drink plenty of fresh water to keep yourself energised. Okay, did you understand the video? Uh, did you understand the video? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what are the different types of nutrients that uh, showed in the videos? Can you remember them? Carbohydrates, protein, or else? Carbohydrates, protein, what else? Vitamin and minerals. Vitamins and minerals. What else? Fats. Fats. Water. Water and it has another one, the last one. Starts I with the fiber, very good. So, uh, what are the different types of nutrients? Here it has six because fiber is where? It is in the vitamins and minerals. Okay. So we have the carbohydrates, proteins, fats, water, vitamins, and minerals. Uh, and then, Chai, what's your question? And then, Chai? Can you check in? Again. So we have different types of nutrients. We have the carbohydrates, proteins, fats, water, vitamins, and minerals. So what is carbohydrate? Or what are the carbohydrates? Or what is the meaning? Can you tell me? Who can read? Uh, body main source of energy. There are two main types of carbohydrates, sugar and starch. Okay, so it has two types of carbohydrates. We have the sugar and starch. And then this uh, carbohydrate is the main, main uh, source of our energy. So in a day, we have to eat this. Okay, we can eat this three times a day. But be careful because too much eating of carbohydrates, it will turn into... Fats. Okay, very good. So foods rich in sugar, we have the desserts, the soft drinks and fruit juices, fruits and sweets. Do you like eating them? Yes. Oh, so if you like eating them, you have to lessen because too much carbohydrates, too much fats, 
it can harm your what? Your lifestyle, okay? It can harm your health. So foods rich in starch. So we have the bread, cereals, pasta, rice, potatoes, beans, and chestnuts. Okay, do you like eating them? Yes. Which one is your favorite? Chestnut. The chestnut. Okay, good. Next, fiber. Who wants to read fiber? Okay, okay so fiber is carbohydrates that cannot be broken down by the body. It helps prevent constipation. What is constipation? Problem or difficulties in bowel movements. So like when you go to toilet, it is difficult for you to poo, poo Okay? So that's why you have to eat fiber also. In some fruits, you can find fiber in pineapples. Um, what else? I can't remember them. But pineapple is one of the fruits that has fiber. So when you eat that, after that, you can do your vowel easily. Okay? So you don't have any problems. So these are the fruits and vegetables rich in fiber. We have the banana, the carrots, the orange, and the broccoli. Okay? Always remember so that you have to eat this every day. Next, proteins. Who wants to read? I do, teacher. Okay, go. Protein is a substance that is composed of amino acids and is found in many foods, particularly meat. The body needs it for growth, repair, and build muscles. The body can also use protein to produce energy when it lacks carbohydrates. Okay, so if we don't have enough carbohydrates and fats in our body, but if we eat proteins, it will, what? It can be the substitute for the carbohydrates and fats. Okay, so, you know, sometimes we don't eat a lot of carbohydrates like the people who are doing like diet, who are on a diet. Some people, they have the like protein diet, so they will eat meat only. They eat carbohydrates like rice, less only, not too much. So it helps for the growth and the growth repair and the building of our muscles in our body. If you want to have a good body, uh, like a muscle body, you have to eat a lot of protein. Next, our uh, foods rich in protein. We have the meat. So it has variety of meat. We can have from the chicken. We can have from the beef. We can have from the pork. Eggs, beans, nuts. So fats. One street. Who wants to read for the pets? Do you want me to call? Okay. Chachanok, can you read? Numerous. Numerous compound of carbohydrate and oxygen that make up most of animal or plant. Fat and that are important to nutrition as nutrition as sources of energy. Okay, so we can found fats from where? From the animals, right? And then that fat, if we eat a lot of what of fat, um, it helps us to keep warm. All right. So eating too much fats also, it will make you fat. Same like the carbohydrates. And 
eating too much fats will have like a problem in your heart. So foods, fats, uh, fats rich. Our oh, foods rich in fats. We have the avocado, especially oil, cheese, and butter. We have a lot of fats. So water, who wants to read? Wasu, uh, can you read? Hello, keep it and more abundant, abundant type, type of need. Not clean. 70%? 70% of the human body is made of water. Okay. What is abundant? It means like we can see it everywhere. Like we, uh, it's like a normal, normal type of nutrients that we can see, especially in our house. Okay, we have the, uh, the tap water. We have the, like this kind of water, sterile water. And 70% of the human body is made of water. 70%. So everything inside our body has a lot of water. So water is needed to transport nutrients to the different parts of the body. That's why we have to drink a lot of water after we eat. It removes waste from the body easily. Okay, because if we don't drink a lot of water, we will have like the constipation or the problem when we do the poo poo. Okay, so helps to regulate body temperature through sweating. So if it's too hot, we have to drink water because the water inside our body is going out through the sweating. It helps to convert food into energy. Okay, so vitamins. Wants to read vitamins, vitamins. Uh -huh -huh. Why turn on your cameras? I have 46 participants, but I can't see your face. My uh, can you read? Okay. Good. Any for a group at Organic compound with a essential essential for normal cow growth, growth and nutrition, nutrition and are required, required required in some more quantities in the diet because they cannot be produced Produce. by produced by the body okay so these vitamins are the group of organic compounds so these are the things that we need for the normal growth nutrition and required in small quantities we don't have to eat a lot of this because we will have a problem with our liver if we eat a lot of vitamins like vitamin c Okay, so vitamin C, they cannot provide it by our body or they cannot produce in our body. So we have to take medicines like the ascorbic acid, right? Ascorbic acid is one of the vitamins. So classification of vitamins, we have the uh, fat-soluble vitamins. If you say fat-soluble vitamins, uh, it's a type of vitamins which will not be lost when the foods that contain them are cooked. Just like the... Uh, what, what food has the vitamins? Yeah, some fruits. So the body does not need these vitamins every day and stores them in the liver. So taking too much vitamins, like the fat-soluble vitamins, it can harm our liver and adipose or the fat tissue when not used. So example, we have the vitamins A, D, E, and K. Okay. 
So fat soluble vitamins are absorbed along with fats in the diet and are stored in the body's fatty tissue. All right, well, so change that cover, huh? Change that. They are found in many plant and animals, foods, and in dietary supplements. So here, the vitamin A helps in maintaining good vision. Good for overall growth and development of teeth, skin, white blood cells, and mucous membrane. So example of it are sweet potato, carrots, sweet peppers, and apricots. Vitamin D, essential for the absorption of calcium and phosphorus. Also helps in the maintenance of healthy bones and teeth. We can see it in tuna, salmon, sardines, and mackerel. While vitamins, vitamin E helps to reproduce free radicals in the body and thus prevent the development of diseases as it is a powerful antioxidant. It also helps in balancing hormones and cholesterol levels like wheat germ, avocado, spinach, butternut squash. Vitamin K helps the blood to clot. It is also essential for bone and heart health. We have the colored greens, parsley, grapes, hard boiled eggs. Okay, so even if you have these vitamins, don't eat too much because it's not good, still not good. So water-soluble vitamins are those that are dissolved in water, okay? And readily absorbed into tissues for immediate use because they are not stored in the body. They need to be replenished regularly in our diet. Just like vitamin C. You know vitamin C, right? Like this, vitamin C. We take ascorbic acid daily because we need vitamin C. And then in some food, they cannot make vitamin C. Okay. So we have the thiamine, uh, riboflavin, niacin, biotin, folate, vitamin B12, vitamin B6, patentanic acid, and pyridoxin. So minerals, who wants to read? Uh, Napak, can you read? Napak, a mineral. A uh, mineral is a chem chemical. 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 ML required water as an essential veteran metal nutrients by, by organisms uh, who function, uh, function necessary voluntarily or for life. Okay, so minerals, they are the chemical element that is required as an essential nutrients by the humans or the other organisms to perform functions necessary for life. So we have the macro minerals. We have the minerals like calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, potassium, chloride, and sulfur. So function of calcium required for vital cellular functions, promote stronger teeth and bones. Phosphorus helps make energy and protein for repairing damaged cells and tissues. Magnesium, essential for metabolic processes, muscle and nerve function. Sodium, helps maintain blood pressure levels and proper blood volume. Potassium, regulate fluid balance nerve signal and muscle contractions. So 
So chloride, an electrolyte that helps keep fluid balance and proper blood pressure. Sulfur, necessary for insulin production. Keep proteins and protect cells from damage. So here are the food that rich in minerals. So in calcium, you can see this, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, potassium, chloride, and sulfur. So in each fruit that we eat, it has different kind of minerals and vitamins that we can get. Just like from the bananas. From the bananas, we can have uh, the nutrient, like the fiber. Okay. And then it has also the it has also the potassium and the magnesium. Next. So what is balanced diet? It is the one that provides the right amount of nutrients that a person needs. There are seven essential factors for balanced diet. We have the carbohydrate, proteins, fats, fiber, vitamins, minerals, and water. Okay, so let's watch this. Today, we will learn about balanced diet. Food is one of our basic needs, and we all need food to live. Food helps us grow healthy and strong. It gives us energy to think, work, and play. Come on, let's learn about the sources of food. Plants and animals are the two main sources of food. We get vegetables, grains, pulses, and fruits from plants. We get meat, milk, fish, and eggs from animals. We should eat these in the right amounts to stay healthy. Interesting. Food groups. We can divide the food that we eat into four main groups. Energy giving foods. These foods give us energy to work and play. Some of the energy giving foods are grains like wheat and rice and foods like sugar and chocolate. Body building foods. These foods help us to build our muscles and make our bodies stronger. Wow. They also repair our body. Some of the bodybuilding foods are meats, fish, eggs, milk, and milk products like cheese, yogurt, and butter. Protective foods. Some foods protect our bodies from falling sick. Some foods like milk and yogurt are needed to keep our bones and teeth strong. Vitamins and fibers. Our body needs substances called vitamins for energy, growth, and health. Yay! Vitamins protect us from falling ill and keep us healthy. We get vitamins from milk, eggs, fresh vegetables, and fruits. We also need fiber in our food as it helps us digest our food properly. Grains, pulses, some vegetables, and fruits have a lot of fiber. Water is very, very important. We must drink plenty of water every day. We should also make sure that the water we drink is safe and clean. Now, let's study about healthy and junk food. We should eat good, fresh, clean, and well-cooked food. Sometimes we eat food that is tasty, but not good for health. Such food is called junk food. Ah, eating too much junk food can make us sick. Now it's time to remember some points. We need food to grow strong and healthy. Some foods give us energy. Some foods help us to build our muscles and body. Some foods protect us from falling ill. We also need vitamins, fiber, and water in correct amount. Now you know a lot about balanced diet and foods. Please drop a like, leave a comment, share the videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Our app, Learning Junction, is available on Play Store. Bye-bye.
Okay. So, we have the food pyramid that we have to follow. So, what is a food pyramid? It is a chart that can be used to see how many servings of each food should be eaten in each day. It is for having good health. Uh, fruits and vegetables on the bottom are representing the bulk of healthy diet and fats and oil at the top. So if you look here, we have the fruits and vegetables that is the that has the bigger role in the food pyramid. So it has 25% for the fruit and vegetables and then 20 for the carbohydrates, but 50% is more on water. And then the least is the healthy fat or the fats, which has 10% only. Another example of food pyramid is one. Okay. And you have to watch this again, the food pyramid. Welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we are going to learn a bit more about healthy eating. Something very important to all of us. We already know that healthy foods are fundamental for our existence. They help us grow, be strong and be healthy. To eat healthily, one must learn about the variety and quantities of the food we eat. We need to learn about the food pyramid and follow its steps. Here it is. First. Oh, let me feel. Hello? 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 No sound? No sound? Yes or no? Video. It's all ends. Welcome to healthy eating. That one, can you hear? Something very important. Okay. We already know that healthy foods are fundamental for our existence. They help us grow, be strong, and be healthy. To eat healthily, one must learn about the variety and quantities of the food we eat. We need to learn about the food pyramid and follow its steps. Here it is. The first step on the pyramid, the smallest one, is the one about fats and sweets. It's the favoured one by all children. But to be honest, it is the worst one. One must eat very little or nothing from this step. Pastries and sweeties are delicious, but they contain a high number of calories which are very bad for our body. They make us fatter and don't help with anything. In fact, many doctors agree that this sector is very bad for our health. The second step is formed by meat, fish and eggs. It is very important to vary these foods every single day. You shouldn't just eat meat, 
because you don't like fish. In fact, we should eat more fish and eggs than meat. The third step is all about dairy. This group consists of milk, cheese and butter. I especially love yogurts. We must eat these foods from one to three times a day. The fourth step is extremely important because it evolves around fruits and vegetables. These foods fill our bodies with vitamins and minerals and allow us to stay in shape and be strong. Doctors recommend to eat these five times a day. If you do, your body will thank you. The base of the pyramid, fifth step, is the group of the carbohydrates. Here you can find cereals, bread, pasta, rice and potatoes. They are also very important so we must eat them daily. As well as following the different steps in the pyramid, we need to take into account the advice of doctors and nutrition experts. One must try to eat at the same time every day. Eating with family will always be beneficial and also drink plenty of water. But most importantly, every day we must do some kind of physical exercise. If we eat healthy and do exercise, we will grow strong both mentally and physically. So now you know. Bye friends! Ah, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning. What is that? No sound. Not clear. Uh, but it's alright. It's just the review of our lesson last time. So what are the food we should eat according to our age? So we have the uh, the nutrients that our body need changes as we grow, uh, like babies and young children need foods that are rich in iron. Oh. Internet problem. Hello? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We had a uh, internet connection problem. Can I show you my screen again? Uh, okay. So, foods that are rich in iron. So, we have the soybean, we have the oatmeal, raisins, eggs, shellfish, green bread, red meat. Chicken and turkey, and then the green leafy vegetables. So adolescents need extra energy from the carbohydrates as they undergo puberty and are more active. So we have two types of carbohydrates. We have the complex and then the simple carbs. Bones in older adults have to take more in calcium and vitamin D. So that's it for today. We will continue next time because we don't have enough time. All right, so first you have to turn on your cameras and then we will have to take a picture. Turn on your cameras, please. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Teacher, no more. Can you take us a minute? We will continue and then we will have the word wall next time. That word wall will become your quiz or the test. 
Yes, that's for the next week. Okay, so I will make it easy. And then after that, I will share to you the, the link. If you, or maybe, <laughs> next time I will share you my line so that if you have questions in regarding to our word wall, we can, or I can answer you. Okay? Yes, because we will post it on YouTube. And then we will show you your face. Understand? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, turn on your cameras, turn on your cameras, and show me your big smile. Big smile, big smile. Big smile, Tirapob, I want to see your face. Big smile. Smile. Okay, thank you and goodbye. Stay safe, okay? Please wash your hands. Thank before you. Thank you. Before touching your face, wash your hands, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, see you. See you next week. Thank you, Good day. Thank you, Good morning, 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 Good morning,